Hi dear friends, it's Mary and I want to welcome you to my channel. Today is Sunday, October 29th, 2023 and I am on location in my van once again and we are at the local park. I thought this was an amazing opportunity because my son likes to practice his track, his sprinting down at the park and I didn't want to work out. I already did so earlier today. So I thought, wow, what a great way to kind of show you what I've been doing. Because the last visit, it was very short and I only showed you one project. But um, I've been busy, 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 busy. Um, if you remember, I explained that I was participating in the Magazine Monthly Challenge. It is the challenge hosted by Zizi Zook. And of course, she's a floss tuber. And her and this wonderful lady named Robin, they have a Facebook page. And it's great because you don't always have to work on magazines. But if you're like me and you have a ton of magazines, it's an excellent way to kind of get you to pull them out and also just fulfill um, goals to help you finish projects and which I did I'm happy to say that I fulfilled all my goals for October now, I did tweak a couple but overall I did really great and then I'm going to I'm going to explain to you what I picked out for November but the first thing I want to do before I do that is to show you my finishes. Okay, so the first one was part of my magazine challenge. And after I fulfilled that part, I went ahead and said, let's get this done. And that, if you paid attention to my, um, I believe I posted on Instagram, it is the elephant. And I'm so excited about the way it turned out. And it's so gorgeous. And I have to give a shout out to my husband. And I want to tell him thank you so much. Um, he he did, it was funny. When you, when you get people that don't know how to cross stitch. And they try to, when you try to explain what you do, they don't understand. And um, I was backstitching. I said, I got a backstitch. He's like, what's backstitch? So I went ahead and did everything that was charted. And he's like, well, why don't you do around the elephant? And that way it'll make it pop. And I'm like, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. Because initially this project, um, the model was done on black fabric. And I chose not to do it because it would take me forever and a day. My son knew that. And I said, okay, I'll go ahead and backstitch around it. And it really made it just really pop. And so it was worth a little bit of extra time to do that. And everybody's happy with this. I just got to eventually get it framed. But that was a really great project to finish. The next thing I fully finished was this project it's boo now i can't remember who it's by it's in the 2023 halloween special issue from just cross stitch um, a lot of people have done this one it's just a lot of fun i want to say it's from needle bling designs it's boo now i purchased this i bought two and it it was from the dollar tree it was actually in the framing section. It was a mirror. And I thought, you know what? This would be an amazing thing to do. And my husband had the great idea. And he did almost all of this. And he t intertwined this um, cording you can get at the Dollar Tree as well. It's the tube. And he wrapped it. And he took the time to wrap it. And so this project... This is always going to have a special place in my heart because I feel like it was a collaboration between the two of us. And um, I just thought it was so sweet that he's starting to get a little more invested into my hobby. Because he sees me doing it where before he didn't really, he didn't really see me. 
Anna. I met a lot. So, super cute. I haven't did a project for the other one yet, but I got a couple ideas. And last but not least, I am on, I did the heart, well, kind of the heart part on this one. This, I hand sewed it. I ironed it. I did everything they told me to do as far as putting the interface and to move it like this. So, I found some really, really tiny buttons and I'm going to put them on the tree instead of the, um, instead of what they had in the project. And then I'm going to, then all I got to do is to circle. So I've been procrastinating. Sorry. And, but I'm really going to try my best to do it this week. And so I just got to make the template and to get this and stuffed and ready to go. But I just am so happy on how it how it's turning out. So hopefully the next time we meet up, I'll have it completely finished. Okay. So this project was part of my October Magazine Monthly Challenge. I do not have it for next month for November, but I'm, I'm pushing through. A lot of folks have, have told me, um, cause I've, I'm in a couple Halloween Facebook groups, especially the Halloween, um, challenge. She's, she's, she's amazing. And I'm really going to push a lot of projects next year in her group. But everybody said, it's hard to read and it is this is enchantress by doreen jones and i know it's worth it because i saw somebody post a finish and it was gorgeous but um i'm doing it i'm doing it i i did this and after i complained about blended i really don't like the blended when you have to do the um the metallic and the and the regular floss because I feel like it never one always gets looser than the other but that's okay this is gonna be worth it I also did some of her decollete I did this right here so she's coming around I didn't do it last week though I just I just wasn't in the mood and so I'm hoping that I have a chance maybe tomorrow or or um, Halloween day. And that way I could start fresh in November with the things that I want to do. So be on the lookout. Hopefully I have some updates on that one. So let's talk about what I'm going to do for the Magazine Monthly Challenge for November. So the theme is mountains. And so I decided that I was going to work on Louisiana. And this is from Luba Davis Atelier. And she is on Etsy. And the reason why I chose this is because I'm going to work on the sky and the mountains and the grass. So that just to show you what it's been looking like. I'm almost done with page one. And so I'm definitely going to work on that. I plan on doing 300 stitches. Okay. Of course, the next two I forgot to bring, and I'm really sorry. Okay. I chose to do raccoon because you could either do fox or raccoon. And I decided to challenge myself by doing more. So. I was super excited. I was looking for something on my, excuse me, on my desk, you know, because I save all my patterns, whether I purchase them or the free ones. And so I was looking for something and I saw still life with sunflowers. So I clicked on it and lo and behold, I found my chart. So. I went ahead, made a couple copies. I think I copied the whole thing just to get over with. And I said, okay. So for R, 
I'm doing Still Life with Sunflowers by Vincent Van Gogh. It is by Serenity Stitchworks, and I picked R for a really big project, and I'm going to do 300 stitches on that one. The next one I forgot to bring as well. I'm sorry. It's A for Autumn Sampler. So if you follow me on Facebook or if you're or Instagram, um, I posted it was from Miss Mrs. Stitch, Mr. Stitch and Mrs. Needle, and it's a really cute sampler. It was one of those that she had free until the fifteenth, and it, it's a stitch along where you had to stitch it the first part and you had to take a picture which I don't normally always like that because I don't like the time restraint but I understand what she was doing so I got to the part where she gave me the last part so I'm going to work on that I'm going to I have probably about two or three hundred stitches on that one then for C I'm going to do Lucy Milton the city by the Steady Stitcher. This is this one. And it's actually working up really fast. I'm not loving the third 36 count. It's kind of tough on the eyeballs. But that's okay. And I did work on it as well in October. And this is what I have. So see, I'm almost done with, with the first page. It's a two-page sampler, so... And I'm going to do 200 stitches on this one, at least. Okay. The next C that I'm going to do is um, Snow Peak Sampler by KEB Studio Creations. It is in the Just Cross Stitch February 2022 issue. And I'm going to do 200 stitches. And this is the one that I showed you last time. And I believe I did a little bit more since we last met. And I just love it. I, I, I don't know. I like snow, snowflakes. And then this is what it looks like. So I'm going to work my way from right to left. And this is done on Ada. So I have the... The Louisiana that's done on 28 Count Monaco. I got the Enchantress that was done on some 32 Count Hand Dye by Fiber on a Whim um, Lugana. Lucy Milton was on 36 Count Edinburgh Linen. And then this is, this is the Ada. Okay, the next one. I'm going to show you. I worked on it for a couple days and I'm going to be adventuresome. I got quite a bit of page one I still need to do, but I, I picked this one as my O for Baked Alaska by Glenn and Place for a one page finish. I'm hoping for a page finish on this one. This is what it looks like an oldie but goodie. Because I don't care if they're old charts or not. That should... And this is and this is what it looks like now. And the colors are so gorgeous. I just love they're so calming. And I know my son Borelli's gonna like it. I don't know, I might have to keep it for a while and then give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. The next thing I did did is not only is it going to be for the other Owen Raccoon, it's Eek Frank by Tempting Ta Tangles, um, and I want to do do a block. I want to do the third block in this, and this helped me because not only was it in. The October challenge, but I participated in a thousand stitch challenge from Halloween Halloween um, challenge Facebook group, and so this is this is what I've done. This is awesome. So my goal is is to finish that border around Frank, and I'm going to move to the next one, which is a cauldron. 
and this is on 28 count one ago and I think this is going to be the end of the road with the Monaco once I finish my stash which I have about seven tubes left I might have to just either stitch on other or Ada because it's starting to fatigue my hands too much especially when I dye it it's just really hard because it's a thicker which I like the thicker material it's just it's starting to cramp my hands and stuff so I gotta be more gentle with the hands so it's a bummer because I've been using it on and off for years but that's okay there's always Joe Blin and Lagana when I don't want to do linen and then last but not least okay I worked on it last month I'm going to finish this bad boy for November it is in for Darth Vader by Nikki Pattern and it is a discontinued pattern that was on Etsy and all I've got left to do is the white and so this is going to be a finish so I know I'm going to have at least one finish for November, which is awesome. And that's this one. And that, and that's it for now. Um, I don't know what's wrong with me. All of a sudden I want to do challenges, but I know Halloween one, um, there's a couple of challenges that I'm going to participate. She's going to have a really fun one for next next year so I'm trying to line up everything that I want to do and I'm just having a ball and I hope you liked what you saw and I'm so glad we got to visit with each other um, and I'm not sure when I'm going to come back but hopefully before Thanksgiving if not I hope you have a fabulous month of November and take care and thanks again for subscribing liking and commenting take care now Bye-bye.